my name is Doug Ayers, and in this Chatterbot Topics tutorial, we're going to show how we can automatically create a new case when the help topic is assigned to a chatter post, and then make a comment back on that chatter post with the link to the newly generated case. This solution will use both a little bit of process builder to launch then a flow that will have the bulk of our logic in it. To get started, we navigate to our Chatterbot Topics tab and we'll create our first topic. Let's we'll choose Help. As the Help topic is assigned to Chatter Posts, then child records will be created in this related list. And that's what Process Builder is able to listen to to know when to launch our flow. To get started, let's create our new flow. When our flow gets invoked, we want to pass to it the ID of the chatter post so that we can know where to make the comment back to as well as get information about that feed, that feed item uh, to include within our new case. So to get started, we'll navigate to the resources tab and we'll create a new input variable. I like to start my variables with the VAR, var, short for variable. We'll call this the var feed item ID. This is the ID of the chatter post that launched our flow and that we are creating a new case for. We'll set the input type to be input. Click OK. This variable will now show on our Explorer tab. We can come back over to our Palette tab to get started. First, we want to do a lookup to get that feed item record. So we'll get our feed item, and the object we're looking for is feed item. And we want to filter this where the ID of the record equals our var feed item input ID variable. Now, this record we want to store in our flow, and so we'll create a new s object variable, and we'll call this var feed item. So this will represent the entire chatter post that we queried by its ID. The fields that I'm interested in are the body, so that we can copy that into the case description, as well as the parent ID. There we go. And the parent ID tells us where was this chatter post made? Was it made to a user? a group, perhaps it was made to an account record or contact record. And so we can inspect the object key prefix, that is the th first three characters of the parent ID, to know contextually where this chatter post was made. Why this is important, because in our next step, we're going to have a decision, and based on where the chatter post was created, if it happened to have occurred on an account or a contact, then we'll be able to populate those lookup fields on our case. If the chatter post was made anywhere else, then we'll leave the account and contact lookup fields on the case blank. First, we need to create our decision element so that we can inspect the object key prefix to know what the parent ID relates to. So what is parent ID? Is it the account? And we can know if it's the account by checking the parent ID to see if it starts with the object key prefix of 001. The other outcome we might be interested in is if the chatter post were on a contact. And we know that by filtering on the parent ID to see if it starts with the object key prefix 003. Click OK. And if it's an account, then we want to set up an assignment for another variable that we'll store the account ID in. If it were a contact, we'll also have a second assignment to copy the parent ID value into a contact ID variable. And then we'll be able to use those to reference further down in the flow when we create our case. 
So we'll get started by setting an assignment for the account ID. So we'll set the account ID here. And what I need to do is create a new variable to store that parent ID in the account ID. So we'll call this account ID. And it'll be a little clearer as we fill out the rest of this flow, what's actually happening. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this new account ID variable to simply equal the parent ID. We're just copying this over into a variable that we know definitively this is an account ID. Because this assignment is only going to occur if the decision outcome is for the account path. And we'll have another decision or assignment to set a contact ID. Again, we'll need to create a new variable. Call this var contact ID. And it will equal our parent ID. Just like that. And this will be if it's the contact path. We'll go take our fast lookup, link it to our decision, go ahead and set the fast lookup as the start. Now, the next thing we need to do is create our case. So we'll use the record create element. We'll call this create case. Object we want to create, choose case. And now we can set all our field mappings. Origin, for example, can be our chatter pick list value. Now, by default, you may only have email, phone, and web. But in my org, I went ahead and created another pick list value called chatter. So I know that the automation, um, what automation was being used to create the case. We also can set other required fields, such as status, set that to new. We'll also populate the subject. We'll say support request from chatter. And then in the description, remember earlier in our fast lookup, we queried the chatter post body. I'm just going to copy the body of that chatter post, the feed item, into the description of our case. Lastly, we need two more field mappings. This is where the account ID and contact ID fields are going to be used. So we'll choose those standard lookups for the account and contact, and their values will refer to the account ID variable and the contact ID variable respectively. At this point in the flow, because of the, how the decisions run, the account ID variable is either null or it is an account ID. Similarly, the contact ID variable is either null or refers to a contact record ID. And so that's some extra convenience that we can build in some intelligence there depending on where the original chatter post that got assigned the help topic where it was created. Now most importantly because part of this demo we want to then make a comment back on that original chatter post to notify our user that this case has been created. So it's very important now that we remember and store this new case ID and a variable. So we'll create a new variable, call this var case ID, okay, and we'll say all roads lead to Rome, so after assigning our account ID we'll come here, after assigning the contact ID we would come here. Also, if the parent ID of the chatter post was anything else, so the default outcome, we will also come and create our case. Once the case has been created, we can do one more record create step to create our comment. And this is the feed comment object. And we need to set the feed item, which is what chatter post are we going to make the comment to. So we already had the feed item ID. And now we need to set the body. What is the message that we're going to send back? Here, we're going to be able to create a text template so that we can form a, uh, a more rich 
description here with some merge fields. So we'll call this our comment text. And I'm going to put in brackets here word chatterbot. And that way it kind of tells other readers that this is an automated message from our chatterbot system. And we'll say your new case has been created. The link is, and then we'll just put the URL to our org in that case, ulyssierres.dev ed.my.salesforce.com and then at the end I now need to include the ID of that case and that's where that variable that we just created the var case ID comes in handy and that goes on at the end of our URL we'll click OK and now that will be the comment text that will get pasted back we'll click OK link up the rest of our flow everything looks nice and tidy we'll save and we'll call this our create case and comment flow. Click OK. Hit that save. We'll close out of the Canvas Designer. Activate our flow. And now we need to wire up our process builder to invoke the flow. So we'll come over to process builder, create our new process here, and we'll call this our chatterbot topic assignment process because this could run for any type of topic that might be assigned. Set this to run whenever a record changes. And when we'll set up our object, chatterbot topic assignment, only interested when those records are created. And our criteria here will be for the help topic. And the criteria on that assignment record will look at the topic field, a string that equals the word help. Click Save. And then for this particular topic, what we want to do is invoke our flow to create case and comment. And it needs one variable, input variable, that feed item ID. So we will refer from that assignment record the feed item ID. Click Save. We'll activate our process. Confirm. And now if we go to Chatter, if I'm just out here, I could say, please help. I need somebody. And we'll click Share. And right there, our post has been created. Process Builder launched our flow and our flow immediately had created the case and provided us a convenient link. And here I can click it, open the next page, and here we have our newly created case. Our status, our origin, the subject, and even our description. Now you'll notice that the account and contact fields are blank here. And that's because the chatter post, if I navigate back, was made out here to my own profile. It wasn't contextual at all. But if we navigate over to, say, an account, if I can see where the accounts are, there it is. So they play on the S-Force account. And here in our chatter post, maybe we'll add something here. Can someone check out the uh, financial records on billing? I need some help. Thanks. And then we can share that post. And immediately, Chatterbot creates the new case contextual to this account. So we'll click on our link. And here we can see that the account field has contextually been populated for this case because of where we created the chatter post. Great. Hope you can see how with just a little extra flavor of introducing flow, we're now able to add a little more intelligence to what our Chatterbot does based on where the chatter post has been made. And I hope this starts to open up new ideas for what you can really do. You can start tying in even more rich integrations to other third-party applications, or maybe even getting fancier with artificial intelligence, Salesforce Einstein. We're really only limited by our imaginations at this point. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.